Hello, my friends. Since this canvas was already pre-packed with uh, Ziploc bags, all diamonds organized, so I thought uh, I will start on it. And many of you like this canvas. And here is what I have. You see this? It would be hard to work on it if like this condition so we're gonna fix it together with you and I have already a few tutorials about this how I iron my diamond paint and before I start work on it I have in here your best friend mini 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 iron that no settings but do don't overheat so this one is a purposely crafty iron excellent for ribbons to iron if you do some sewing and for diamond paintings as well because it doesn't melt your canvas uh, and you have to be just careful so I thought well let me do this with you together again I have in here parchment paper that I will cover my diamond painting because it is plastic canvas so I want to be a super protective and not to melt my iron into it let's check to check if it's hot enough or not well usually you can just start iron and see Ooh. okay my cord a little bit further from me and I uh, keep pulling out Okay, I have to why it doesn't stay all of a sudden. Is there something stuck in it? That's the first time. Okay, this see light. Okay. I'm just gonna wait till it's warm up a little bit. The cord keep pulling away because it's a heavy cord for such a little iron. So we're just gonna start our iron and I'm gonna hold the cord right now so it doesn't disconnect again on me. Parchment paper is the best. Uh, never use wax paper especially on the other side of the canvas and what I do if I have let's say okay let me put iron side in here and hopefully it's gonna heat now hold on just keep disconnecting on me okay so when this top layer is wrinkled up and I'm gonna show you very close you see the clear sheet is all wrinkled right so I was afraid this went into my canvas and it is a little bit so what I do I'm gonna peel this sheet out now if you're not certain that you have a wax paper or parchment paper do a little test on the corner okay put your paper in here if it's coming out easy then it's all right this one I kind of a little bit not sure sticking a little bit harder maybe this is not uh, let me quickly go grab other one okay so uh, that one probably was like a baking sheet but wasn't exactly parchment paper so this is the parchment paper that I always keep in my craft room and the difference is if we put in here again to test on the corner in here right it doesn't stick at all see how easy coming out so now I'm not worried about I'm just put this right on a glue 
smooth it out. So no creases. And now I don't have to worry to iron right on the top of my glue. The glue will even up and give rid of some of those wrinkles that clear sheet provided us with. And you don't have to worry about iron. Okay, now the moment of truth will be it coming out or not, right? Maybe I just ruined canvas together with you live on camera. Okay, you see how easy coming out. And then we have now beautiful, nice and flat canvas. If I flip this side, the wrinkles is almost like it's barely any visible, those folds. You still can iron a little bit more. Let me just unplug this. It's hot now. And I just go on the edge to even up even more. That's it. We are done. Now look at this canvas, nice and flat now. By iron and we even activated glue. Now it's like super duper sticky. And look how beautiful it looks like, okay? Image towards you. So now it's flat, it's not gonna roll back. And we are ready to work on. So at this point, this is garbage now. And I'm going to use this parchment paper as my cover just put in the center and smooth it out like from center to the edges to give rid of air bubbles that's it now I'm just gonna trim in here with my scissors and be ready to work on also, since we're already here preparing our canvas, uh, one more thing. Because this canvas is really beautiful in browns colors, what I will do, I will use this washi tape, which is a holographic, changing, shifting colors, just kind of complementary to this canvas. So I will use this to cover excess of the glue in here because it's coming out pretty much like almost centimeter or so. Well, less than centimeter, but still a lot. So I'm gonna place my washi tape right by the line. This will protect my glue and protect my hands not to stick to it and also all the fibers that's flying around your house maybe you have a pets and the fur from them will first stick before you even know it so we're gonna protect our glue now I have in here DMC code on both sides of the canvas and if I put washi tape on one side like if I put washi tapes I will cover actual DMC code at this point you can take a picture with your cell phone for these numbers or we will do a little bit differently and I'm gonna show you in a second I'm just gonna cover one side 
So first I go kind of to match my layout or washi tape. I don't do like this because then you will see crisscross didn't match. So I do top and the bottom and then sides so they like coordinating um, layers not just mismatch or you can do sides first and then top and bottom but not like this way that way like it's just crisscrossing not proper way in my opinion okay let's find a way so now I'm gonna do bottom of my canvas if I can ever separate okay this one is really really sticky and washi tape I'm buying it from a dollar store my dollar store always have different kind of washi tapes very sticky less sticky holographic see-through for scrapbookers so I think this color will kind of complement my diamond painting. I don't know, maybe I should put gold in here. Well, I think this one will be beautiful too because it kind of has a gold shift in it. Okay, so now I'm going to pick side that is bigger amount of glue sticking out and that's the this one side so I will cover just one side and I will watch my DMC code from this side so this side I'm not gonna cover yet so I will do this way up there for temporarily uh, cover I can use parchment paper because it's a see-through it will cover glue but also I can see the numbers through the paper so that's the something for you to think of okay I try to match as much as possible in here kind of make a straight depends on your frame how you're gonna frame sometimes frame or too big or too small then you have to figure out if you need a extra washi tape up there or just put some mat in okay and I go to this side and try to cut some close to the line that uh, went a little bit over you see what I'm talking about like Try to cut as much as possible, but I'm sure my frame will be covered uh, and this is how it looks like. So this side will be covered with parchment paper and I see numbers perfectly through the parchment paper. So I can keep it just like this and watch. So now we are ready, all prepared, so I think we can start diamond painting. I choose my first color, number 20, and that is DMC code, what is this, 976 I think. The, the only thing I would say the print on the sides in here are so tiny, like here's okay, and actually what I'm looking at right now, the way my washi tape is covered, I still can see number and symbol on my canvas and the numbers already on the bags but from this side if I cover with washi tape I only will see DMC code so it's kind of you can cover and just one two three cover like this for DMC code to compare with the other side if you want to cover right now but I'm not going to do that and uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned in the beginning of this video that this is canvas from Craftsy Art and we just did recently unboxing with you. It's a new company on my channel personally. So I don't know how good they are or not. Canvas is really, really tacky, which is a good news already, right? And I'm gonna use my one placer and we are gonna start 
with the brightest symbol not the brightest but I chosen here symbol P because it's kind of stand out to me a little bit and we will do our first test just need to be careful in here because P and D kind of if you flip your canvas upside down you will have a same letter wow I just now figured this out so I'm doing a P right now if I flip my D automatically will be look like P so yeah be careful that's a good point right in here okay so the quality of the diamonds what do we think I think it's beautiful and my battery already dying and I only record just one video so far. This is second video. That's how fast this battery dying. I really, really need to buy extra battery so I don't waste my time waiting for recharging. So let's just work till my battery actually shut my video down and then we have to wait till it's recharge sometimes it can flush for a while I love this glue very much really sticky and especially when right now we iron and we kind of like reactivate it so it's super duper sticky and parchment paper make sure it's not a wax paper or any other baking paper for your oven it has to be parchment paper because see like the other one was sticking hard and I thought it's the same parchment paper because it was no packaging so it's very important to test on a little corner of your canvas before you glue into your design. That would be bad experience. So check out. There's a code Natalia six percent off all in capitals you can save six percent if you order from craftsy art and also company will generate small amount of commission for me if you order from my code so just to let you know it's um, affiliate code that will help me a little bit with my channel and I thank you for that if you purchase from my code <clears throat> looks beautiful wow my, my battery is still going it's flashing it will die soon but how soon I don't know Okay, one more in here, no, right here, okay, do we have another, see that's what I do, like I now actually write in here some, I just do like a cross country, I peel in my sheet all the way around and I finish one color at a time, that way I know how much diamonds I have left over or I will know if company didn't put enough diamonds so it's good to work this way let's see I'm just gonna put my camera right in the canvas sorry for moving you around okay 
looks like lots of symbols on this side. So far so good. I don't have a complaints about this company yet. The video unboxing was everything's fine. Nothing was missing. All drills was included. Now we just have to do this post review to see if we have enough diamonds and if diamond painting will look proper displayed with this amount of colors or it's going to be look very pixelated. So that's what we're going to find out together with you. And because the canvas are so tiny, I will finish soon. I will be working by myself with the light pad a little bit on the darker area in here. And that's another your best friend it's the light bed you have to have a few things in your life and you if you diamond paint that really help you it's the light pad walk um, parchment paper mini iron to fix your diamond painting really fast diamond canvas um, magnifying glass with the light preferable and you're gonna be like a pro while I was recharging my battery I finished my first color and that is the brown one that I have in here number 20 and that's the diamonds that left over now i'm working on number 14 it's a very very similar color but if i put like in here i can't even see the difference for now but if i show you in the back you can see the big difference in the shade right now i have in here two colors that look like black but the only number two is a black and the other one it's a brown and we have a um, 21 3371 code now the symbol in here look for the 21 it's a R number 2 it's a B now in here I thought I have all black color which is B then I start to place few diamonds of B and I realize it's B and R in the mix and without magnifying light it's not possible to see them barely you can see them because the symbol are so similar at this point I'm glad there is no H in here because H would be blend into this one too um, I did use my light pad light pad don't help at all because uh, for example the bottom part of R in some point blend in with the bottom part of B they are so similar and if the ink a little bit less visible you don't know if that's a B or R which I would say wouldn't be big deal because these colors are very very how we can find a shade proper kind of they are very similar this one is really really dark brown so if you mistake it's not a big deal but I mean that's the problem for this canvas is they have same black background but the symbol should be different than similarity on a writing right B and R so that's a one problem only uh, for now and when I was I did my unboxing I knew that I will have some problems with dark colors and if we look in here 
those darks I don't know K G hopefully there's no C in the same oh no C I think that's the an orange one let's see in here the table yeah C and a green background and G is a red one so we can separate them like this um, yeah so this is so far what I have but I don't think we're gonna have like a shortage on the drills uh, looking by the amount of colors is left in here already so on this um, on this color with the B and R I will be working with my this one magnifying light so because I really need to work and see what I'm doing and then in my next video I'm just gonna finish this one short video uh, we will work on some of this bright colors because they are nice and visible and I don't need a light pad for it so next time you see me working on this canvas this dark area should be finished by then and i'm gonna show you for now i'm just put my diamonds back into the bag but i fixed them in a numerical order from one and up so every time i need some number i know where to grab because they in place and after I finish for example I finished 20 but sometimes I miss here and there bit so I still gonna put in a place where it should be where my 20 should be after 19 so that's how I work so I'm hope you like this short video for today I hope the ironing thing will help you and yeah this is good tool to have a uh, this light pad it helps a lot but in my situation with these colors i need a magnifying glass as well when i zoom like this for the camera for you kind of more visible for you than for me but still it's all kind of blend in almost together yeah that's the only problem i have for now uh, if i find something else you will first to know but thank you so much for watching today my video and I will see you in my next episode. Have a sunny day.